So this is the first video on my new computer, so now I can do cool things like this hey and there. that this and awesome. this wow. and that yeah. and something like this. I don't know, let's see. Combo, combo. I don't know. What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Like I said, this is my first video on the new computer, so hopefully it goes better. I'm not quite sure about all the stuff, the lighting, the, the quality, Ooh. the sound should be good. Nope. Chuck Testa. I, I have the setup the exact same as what I had before. I just obviously am still playing around with the configuration, that uh, video settings, sharpness, auto focus, you light balance, suck. things like that. Let me know how the picture is. Let me know how the sound is for you guys. And this is gonna be a pretty quick video today. So I'm going to have some fun at the end. Like I said, this is my first video on the new computer. So my laptop needs to be laid to rest. We're gonna do a little in memoriam to my laptop towards the end of the video there. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Stay tuned. Don't click off. Nope. It's going to be funny. I swear. Oh, because your jokes are all hilarious. Today's video is going to be on aquarium safe plastics. What plastics can you use in your aquarium? As some of you know, I'm setting up a call tub here wow. out of a, a plastic tub. So if, if you wanted to do this for your own setup, what types of plastic would you be able to use for it, right? This is a pretty simple question. Like I said, it's going to be pretty quick. Slam out this video real quick uh, and then we can have some fun at the end. Uh, so I'll just address the topic and then we'll do all the all the maintenance, all the stuff at the end. Make sure to like and subscribe, all that stuff. All right, uh, aquarium safe plastics. Very simple, there are only three rules. So I'll start this off just by answering a couple questions I've seen around this topic already. Nice. When you're looking at something like acrylics, plexiglass, or like the rubber airline hose, the rubber hoses that we use wherever they are over there yeah. those things we use they're all safe you don't have to worry about them the acrylics and the plexiglass they're made different it's like you know it's just, it's the same like chemical Bruh. type thing but they're made differently so they're all aquarium safe i have no worries i have plexiglass in here i use acrylic for my lids don't have to worry about any of that type of stuff so the question has to be asked now plastics the recyclable plastics they are a little bit different so obviously there are the different uh, grades of plastic of, of i guess they're all they're not all food grade the food grades i believe are one to five and then uh, number six and number seven, we can just throw those right out the window right now. You don't want to use number six or number seven plastic. So looking at the food grade types, the one to five, the best one to use is a number two plastic. If you have a number two plastic for your tubs, for your water buckets, that's the best to use. My Lowe's buckets are number two, my white buckets are number two because they, they store water for X amount of days. Isn't that neat? <laughs> You can do that. You know, potentially up to like five days I've had water in those before. So I don't want any plastics leaching into them into them or anything like that. So yeah, number two is the best. Now, if you can't get hold of a number two, a uh, number five or a number four are also acceptable. They yes, won't yes, leach yes. microplastics or micro, yeah, microplastics as much or at all. Ooh. They're just a slightly different plastic. The tub I'm using here is actually number five. I have some number I have a number four somewhere. Probably left them in the trunk of my car, it's all right. But yeah, it's they're totally fine. If you can't get hold of the two, the four, the five, uh, the number three is also acceptable to use. The one you want to avoid is the number one. Those are your, your single use plastics, water bottles, what else is in single use? Gatorade bottles, pop, bo basically bottles. Um, so like I do use number one plastic over here if I just, the, the water jugs I use when I'm doing my water changes, if you see me do my water changes before. Yeah. This is number one. I don't know where the number is on it, but it's definitely number one plastic, but I don't store the water in here for very long, so I don't have to worry about uh, leaching so much. Yeah, those are like day of water storage things, so water's in and out of them. Uh, that's just some, that's fresh distilled water I just got the other day from the grocery store for my top ups. Loser. So yeah, that's, that's aquarium safe plastics in a nutshell, you know? The two's the good, four or five's acceptable, three is a good like third option. Void the ones and don't even think about six or seven. Pretty simple. Uh, I guess, yeah, acrylics and plexiglass are good. The rubber hoses you don't have to worry about. Like I said, it's a pretty quick topic, pretty simple. 
Told you this would be an easy one. I knew you would like it. Uh, that, so let me, let's get into the, the maintenance here, I guess. So thank you all for watching. Thanks for making it to the end. Uh, Patreon, YouTube channel member, link, Discord, PayPal link in the description. Like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell notification. I do live streams every now and then, you know, those are really fun. Patreon shoutouts as always for Leather Turtle, Michael Redman, and Brian Dodson. YouTube channel member shoutouts here for Neil Mitchell, Tater Salad, Jamie Anderson, and Rival. If you want your name shouted out, those links are down below. No, I'm not gonna uh -uh. settle down. No way, uh-uh. And I'm gonna do a little throwback here to something I, I did, I used to do I for more engagement. Couldn't be doing it again. If you comment RIP old laptop, you can join the end of the video club. Woo! These people have commented at the end of a bunch of my videos. They are awesome. They engage with the channel. They've helped me grow. They helped me hit the thousand subs. Uh, so, so help. You can join this list of just people that scroll on the screen. Or if you want me to say your name, you can give, give me that sweet cheddar. So stay tuned for the memorial to my laptop. I'll probably throw it in after the outtakes here. So thanks again for watching. And remember guys, keep your shrimp pan strong. Till next time. Bye bye now. Sound sinking. Sinking the sound. Sinking. Sinking. Sinking the sound. I'm sinking the sound. Uh, sinking the sound. These kind of look like shit right now. Booga booga. Ooh. Say what? All right, let's do the real video now. Today's video is gonna be bait. Uh, and the wife just got home. So now I have to go cook dinner. Gonna sink this again. Gotta sink this again. This is annoying. Annoying. Gotta sink it again. All right. <laughs> All right. If you put RNP old laptop, R. I will remember you. Will you remember me? Don't let your life pass you by. Weep not for the memory. Remember the good times that we the end of an era this thing got me to a thousand subs this thing got me through school it got me by job they say dogs are a man's best friend but really his computer is Understand the bond we had. Goodbye, old friend. Standing on the edge of something much too deep. You were truly a workhorse. You will be missed. Computers may die, but the memories last forever. But we can't be heard. I will remember you. Ha, 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 ha.